Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at copper. Now, as you may remember, we looked at copper at the, thir uh, at the 3rd of March. So this is going to be a little review as to what's happened since then and what we can take from what's currently happening uh, in the news flow and what's happening in this, in this chart. So at the time of the last video on March 3rd, the price of copper was about 218 on our chart, so $2.18 per pound. And what we were saying is that there has been a inverse head and shoulders pattern and the potential target from that pattern was $2.35 or 235 as we have it on our charts. What's happened since then is the price went all the way up to 231, topped out around there, and now in the last few days we've seen the price tanking. Now, <clears throat> there's a few things happening here. Uh, one is that oil prices have struggled to push through $40 per barrel. Now, the, the US dollar has been dropping, so that's been supportive of commodities, but copper has not really been able to make much hayway. And I think part of it comes down to the fact that um, a lot of our lead comes from China. China's economy is still looking weak, and they don't appear to be making any specific progress towards reducing their domestic supply, um, something that had been hinted at through um, the uh, reduction of jobs in state-backed enterprises. So still a lot of supply of copper in the market, and we're seeing the price uh, develop rather uh, difficult. Uh, there's a, been a difficult development in, in the price on the chart. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this daily price chart and kind of track what's happened and review what we could have done had we been in this trade. So the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern on this daily price chart that we're now looking at is around 214. We were talking about it post break at about 218. Now you can see the price went pretty vertically higher, um, got up to around 230. We've had a pullback. Now we pushed higher again, but one of the first danger signs that we had here was that we pushed through 230 up to 231, but reversed on that day. We basically put in a shooting star pattern. It later became an evening star candle pattern. And we saw the price pull back again, back below this 200 day moving average, which has been a bit of a, a problem point. You can see that the, the first peak ended at the 200 day. The second peak was a failed break beyond both the 200 day and the first peak. And so we've seen the price pull back. Now you can see that there was a, a nice little candle bounce off the 219 mark. That was the end of the first pullback. And so there was, there was still hope at that point for this trade to push through to, to 235. But what we've subsequently seen is a close below 219. And so we've actually got something along the lines of a double top pattern now. So actually, we've got a projection to the downside, which is below the neckline of the head and shoulders. And so this, the, this, this pattern reaching its full objective at 235 is, is looking less and less likely at this point. You can also see at the bottom of the chart there's, a, there's been an RSI trend line break. And this is fairly well defined up trend line that's broken to the downside. We're now below the 50 mark in RSI. So a few warning signs here in copper that the, the trend has changed. And so we can't get stubborn about uh, wanting to be long this market. There are various points at which we could have got out of this trade had we been long. One would have been on that first shooting star candle pattern. Uh, one would have been after that big drop down, and the final one perhaps would have been as we close below this 219 mark, and maybe if you're really pushing it, you could hold on down to the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern, but really below there, the pattern's given up. So it's one of those situations where it was very close to hitting the objective, and depending on how you manage the trade, you still came away with a, a small profit or, or possibly a break even. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're looking at copper. Just looking back at, a, um, at the inverse head and shoulders pattern that we'd previously been looking at, the original objective of $235 per pound, looking less likely at this point. And it was just interesting to look back and see at what points in this pullback and the subsequent break below a potential double top pattern, at which point in that, uh, in that subsequent, uh, subsequent set of candles could we have uh, exited any potential long trade. And so it's really a lesson in money management and uh, not being too stuck to your beliefs on, on a trade.